Greetings everyone. I am filming this from the De Young Museum in San Francisco, California in Golden Gate Park. And I am going to tell you a little bit about the first ever Global Climate Action Summit. And you might hear birds in the background, but isn't that perfect for Mrs. Green's world? I'm still processing what the summit meant to me, what it means for the world. It was overwhelming, it was impactful, it was inspirational, it was daunting, it was at times depressing. And what it was, was a, a, just a gathering of global leaders, of people that are heads of state, people from all over the world, people in positions of power, people from major corporations all over the world talking about our biggest threat that we've ever faced as a civilization, which is climate change. And I say that I'm processing it all because part of the new information that I really am thinking about is we can't get our way. We can't solve our global warming climate change crisis with a solar cell or with solar panels. When you hear from people in marginalized communities, indigenous people, a lot of the youth, you start to really understand that even though we know climate change is impacting us, in some ways it's impacting many, many populations already. So it was very sobering and we heard from a lot of young people and indigenous people and people from the Amazon about the impacts that they're feeling already. And a lot of us were reflecting on the fact that um, Hurricane Florence was happening as we were all in sessions and the devastation of the hurricanes was talked about. Um, FEMA announced the number of people that died in Puerto Rico, which they numbered that at about 3,000. So we were getting messages from the outside. Maybe what impressed me the most was the companies that were there, the big, huge corporations that were there, like um, Salesforce, like McDonald's, like Google, saying we are going to commit to carbon neutral practices or we're going to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by certain amounts. And then the other part was the, the commitment, the pacts that were signed, the understandings that were made by people in, in power that have the ability to do that. So it's been an interesting journey. I'll have more to share. I would encourage anyone who wants to know more about what happened to go to the Global Climate Action Summit website and to find out just what happened, some of the things that happened. Um, I was proud of the representation from the University of Arizona. There were quite a few professors here that were on panels, that were participating, that were contributing. And maybe the best thing for me is I finally got my selfie with Vice President Al Gore. That was pretty special, as was seeing Jane Goodall on the stage with Dave Matthews, as was hearing the passionate, very emotional plea to take care of nature from Harrison Ford. So it was star studded, it was big name studded, but it was big movement studded as well. Over 500 agreements were signed in terms of impacting greenhouse gases and supply chains, which I also loved. So that's kind of my update, and I'm sure you'll be hearing more from me, and you can look at a lot of my posts on my Facebook page, and thank you for being a part of Mrs. Green's world. It was a very, very special, impactful, and moving experience for me. I was proud to be here. Thanks.